So good morning, everybody. In March of 2011, leaders from 23 different faith communities in the capital region gathered at the Citadel Theater to sign a shared interfaith statement on homelessness and affordable housing. Many of us were there, I think, or, or several of us, and it was a great, great moment for interfaith in Edmonton. This interfaith statement was the response of Edmonton area faith leaders to the city of Edmonton's plan to eliminate homelessness in the capital region, and it served as a call to action for Edmonton's religious and spiritual communities to work together to address issues of homelessness and need for affordable housing in our communities. Religious leaders and the communities that they represent wanted to be able and felt themselves poised to contribute effectively to two dimensions of the city's plan. The physical building of new homes through fundraising and building projects, etc. And what we might call people soft dimensions, befriending new neighbors in our communities, reaching out and inviting new participation in community life. So several projects addressing these two interests have emerged since 2011. One of them, of course, is this annual Interfaith Works project offered in conjunction with Habitat for Humanity Edmonton. And in our first year, how exciting it was to see some 120 volunteers from several different faith communities take part in the initiative. We didn't know when you put out a call like this, I mean, it's one thing to have signatures on a, on a charter from your faith leadership. It's another thing to put out a call to the communities and have that level of response in the first year. If you would each come just right along here, and uh, then I'm still going to pass the microphone along and invite you to share. Sophia, maybe we can start with you, okay? Okay, my name is Sophia, and I'm here uh, from the Muslim community. And uh, this is a wonderful project. It really speaks to my heart, and it's such a great way for faith communities to come together and be a part and work together to address um, uh, this need for housing. So thank you for inviting me and uh, giving us the opportunity to work together with other faith groups. Great. Hi, my name is Werner de Young, and I serve as the pastor of Holyrood Mennonite Church here in Edmonton, and I've had that position now for, for 12 years. I think I prepared too much, so I'm just going to wing it. <laughs> I'll, leave these, I'll leave these notes aside. <laughs> Oh, I got, I, got a, I got a little more time. Uh, I think two, two concepts come to mind when, when it comes to understanding Mennonites and, and Mennonite spirituality and, and our commitment to organizations like Habitat for Humanity. The first one is, is, is following Jesus. We believe in Jesus, of course, but we absolutely believe that our faith in Jesus needs legs and hands and arms and hammers and saws. So we, we very much seek to put our, our, our faith in Jesus into action. When we look at how Jesus lived and at what he taught, he, he fed the hungry, he healed the sick, he clothed the naked, he associated with people nobody else wanted to associate with. Always trying to meet human needs. So very important for Mennonites is to try to follow Jesus in, in action, and not just in some kind of an intellectual belief. The second key word for Mennonites is, is peacemaking. We take seriously Jesus' words when he said, blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. We take seriously Jesus' words when he said, I tell you to, to love your enemies, to bless them and, and not to curse them and even to pray for them. So, a quick aside, but it's also relevant, as, as Mennonites, we. We, we reject violence of all kinds. We don't participate in wars because we think it's incompatible with, with the teaching of Jesus to, to love our enemies. But the other side of peace is not just the rejection of, of, of violence. It's a positive presence of everything that makes for human flourishing. The great word shalom, right? the, the wonderful word shalom. Anything that can help humans and a human community to flourish is, is part of peacemaking surely part of what, what Jesus meant. So that's why we're excited to support Habitat for Humanity, because people can't flourish without affordable homes, without safe homes, without solid homes. So we're, 
my wife, Joanne, is here. She's worked with Habitat for, for three years. So that's part of our, our church's involvement here. We've sent youth groups here in the past and others here in the past, and we've supported meals in the past. So it's on account of those two things, that we try to follow Jesus in action, and because we believe peace means human flourishing, that we're very excited to support Habitat. Thanks. Robinette Matia Friedman um, of Beth Israel Synagogue. So I'm wearing my other hat today, representing the Jewish um, community. So Judaism has three pillars that we stand on. Our sages tell us that there's Torah, Avodah, and Gibilut Chasadim. So we have Torah, the Bible, Avodah is referred to as prayer, service, and Gibilut Chasadim, loosely translated, is acts of kindness. But if you look at the real translation, you know, Hebrew is a very special language. I know you refer to it as shalom. And everyone loves that word because it, it can mean goodbye, it can mean peace. <laughs> uh, but um, the true definition, if we had to translate that into English, would be loving kindness. Because good deeds, we have our mitzvot, we have our commandments that are given to us by the, by the Bible, by the Torah, by through God. But Loving kindness is about, acts of loving kindness is about true, true um, giving. And these three pillars are all balanced, they're all equally balanced. So not one is more important than the other. Than the other. So learning the Torah, studying the Torah, um, prayer, and doing good acts of kindness is not, is all equal in, in God's eyes. And that's what the three pillars of Judaism stand. And sometimes it's easier to just sit in our little, you know, Beth uh, Midrash, like we say, a little temple, and pray and do our own little thing, and or study Torah and teach others about the Bible and whatnot. And on, sometimes it's harder to get out there and do the acts of kindness. But that's why it's so important because, and again, I want to I want to um, focus on the loving kindness because it's sometimes those harder acts that we that we need to really work on to do those. Um, to, to do those um, acts of, of, of chesed, as we, as we refer to them in Hebrew. And so, so we are actually very happy to be part of this project. Um, uh, and we, we joined, I think, it's our second, third annual you know, um, part where we in, in, uh, encourage the Jewish community to participate, to volunteer. We've done the lunches um, and actually do the work of, of building homes and doing the not so easy stuff sometimes. Um, and, and we're proud to, to be able to stand on that pillar um, as Jewish people. Thank you. My name is Mohammed Saint, and I represent the Sikh community. Helping others is one of the tenets of our religion. Uh, our salutation, Satsrika, simply means God is true. If you are truthful, you believe in God. That's it. Yeah. Uh, my name is Mark. I am uh, a representative for the Mormon faith. And uh, we are just really excited that we can join in and participate with everyone here uh, in this great work that's taking place. Um, just to echo some of the words that have been said, uh, the, the physical building of the home, uh, again, to provide that safety and, and that peace that, that so many people are looking for today. Uh, we hope that this home, this physical home, becomes a source of, of inner strength for these families, that the work that's done inside the walls of those homes are ones that uh, you know, build that, that loving kindness. And I think uh, regardless of whoever's moving into these homes, uh, we hope that they have an experience and they're able to see uh, the kindness and the loving uh, acts of the community. That that's something that can reside with these families, with these children, with these parents for multiple generations. Something that they can build the foundation off of. Uh, and so we're just really happy and really excited to be here and join and participate with everyone in this great endeavor. And thank you so much for the invitation. I would like you to do something that's a bit of a traditional thing that we do in our church. 
Would you find one person that you don't know, get their name, and say hi? Just take a moment to do that, okay? Otherwise, we're all strangers when we go to lunch. <laughs> Okay, sure.